Hey everyone, this is Josh Phillips. Um, I wanted to make a quick YouTube video, mostly for parents who are getting their kids into wrestling. Uh, if you're a parent who has your kid in wrestling and now you're going to go to their meets and trying to figure out what's going on, I know that wrestling can be uh, difficult for outsiders to understand what the rules are. So I wanted to make a quick, hopefully five minute tutorial about how the points work. Uh, and we'll see how it goes, and maybe I'll make some additional videos to explain uh, some more nuances. But here are the basic rules for wrestling. Um, in wrestling, high school and college level is called folk style wrestling. This is different than Olympic wrestling. Olympic style wrestling has different rules. We're not going to worry about that. High school kids, these are the rules. If you're a parent, go in and you need to learn what's happening on that mat. All right. In high school, there are three periods. All right. Uh, each period is two minutes. The first period starts in a neutral position, which is this position right here. Both wrestlers start on their feet. In the second period, one of the wrestlers gets to choose how they want to start. They could start, they could say, I want to start neutral. They could say, I want to start in a referee's position, which means I'm either going to take the bottom, which is what most kids do, or they could say, I want to start on top, right? And depending on how you want to start is usually, you know, what are your strengths uh, with regard to technique? All right. So in the second period, one wrestler gets to choose where they start. In the third period, the other wrestler gets the choice with regard to how they're going to start that period. As far as points are concerned, from the neutral position, so when both wrestlers are on their feet, they're both trying to take each other down. If one wrestler takes down the other, their, their opponent, they get two points. All right. So now I'm on top of my opponent. I'm in control. I get two points for a takedown. If I ever find myself on the bottom position, there's two ways I can score. The first is called a reversal. So if I'm on the bottom, there ends up being a flurry, and now I end up on top of my opponent, I get two points because now I'm in control. If I'm on the bottom, there's some sort of flurry, and I just get in away from my opponent, and we're both in neutral now, that's called an escape, and you get one point, right, for escaping from the bottom. When I'm on top, the only thing I'm trying to really do when I'm on top is to turn my opponent to his back. So here's how you can score from top. If I turn my opponent and I start to break that 90 degree angle and I have back exposure, the referee is going to swipe one, two, three. When a referee is swiping, that means they're counting. If I have back exposure for two to four seconds, I get two points. If I have back exposure for five seconds or more, I get three points. And then if both shoulder blades are on the mat for two seconds, that's a pin and the match is over. Those are the basic ways in which a person is going to score in a wrestling match. Some common penalties you might see a referee stop a match for. All right. Uh, the first one is a full Nelson. So a half Nelson is when someone goes under my arm and puts their hand on the back of my head. That's okay. If they put both hands under both of my armpits on the back of my head and push my head forward, that's a full Nelson. That's illegal. The ref's going to stop the match. Penalty point. Locking hands. When the person on top, right, uh, the person on top is not allowed to lock their hands around the body when they're on top. All right. If that happens, that's stop the match and that's a penalty point. If both guys get to their feet, you are allowed to lock your hands to try to bring the person back down to the mat. But as soon as everybody's knees are on the mat, you can't have your hands locked. So the referee is going to stop the match uh, for locking hands. This happens to a lot of uh, new wrestlers. There's a lot of locking hand calls for guys who are just getting into the sport. A stalling call. Stalling means that a wrestler is not engaging in the action. Uh, the first time is just a warning. The second time, it's going to be a penalty point. Uh, so if you see a referee hold up their, uh, their hand in a fist, whatever color bracelet they have on at the time, that means that that wrestler is stalling. They're not engaging. Uh, this is going to happen maybe if both wrestlers are neutral and a wrestler keeps engaging with the other person and this person keeps going out of bounds. If this person goes out of bounds two or three times, the ref's going to stop it and say, you're stalling, you need to circle, you need to engage with the match, otherwise you're going to get a penalty point. Uh, the final uh, sort of common penalty is what's called a slam. So um, if I'm on top, the wrestler on the bottom gets to his feet. If I lift him up and try to bring him back down to the mat, um, the rule is that my knee has to hit before my opponent's body. So if I, I can't just lift a guy up and throw him on the mat without my body coming down at the same time as his with my knees hitting. Right? So it's a safety issue. The referee is going to stop the match. 
it's going to be a penalty point. Sometimes the referee is going to stop the match and you're going to see them just put one hand behind their head. All right. If they just put one hand behind their head, there's no penalty. But the referee is just saying there's a potentially dangerous situation. There's no penalty involved. It's just a safety issue. And usually this happens when somebody's knee or their elbow or their shoulders in a, just a bad position. Um, so it could be potentially dangerous. The referee is just going to stop the match for safety. As far as how a team wins in a dual meet, right? So dual meets are usually what happened during the week. Uh, tournaments happen on the weekends. There's different scoring for tournaments. So if there's a big bracket and every kid is in his own bracket, that's a tournament style, right? A dual meet is just, you know, two high school teams show up on a Wednesday night and they battle it out. Um, and at the end, you want to see, well, what team won? This is how teams win. If a wrestler wins, the team gets three points, all right? Good. If a wrestler wins by eight to 14 points, that's called a major decision. And now your team gets what's called a bonus point. So now they get four points, all right? Um, so your son might get a win. And let's say your son wins seven to one and you're really happy. They might, your son might still come off the mat and be a little disappointed in himself, right? Him and the coaches might, you know, have some words, right? They might be a little bit frustrated with each other. And the reason they're frustrated is not because the kid didn't win, right? The kid won seven to one. Um, but the kid might come off the mat and say, oh, you know what? I should have got one more takedown. And the coach is like, yeah, you should have taken one more shot in that last 30 seconds because we as a team needed bonus points. So I know for me, when I'm coaching kids, I'm always trying, like, if you're, you know, up by seven points, you need to try to get up by eight points because we as a team need one more bonus point. All right. Um, if a kid wins by 15 points, if at any time they're up by 15 points, the match stops. So if a wrestler gets up 15 to zero, the match just stops. It's like a mercy rule. The match is over and you're going to get, it's called a tech fall and your team's going to get five points for that win. And then finally, if somebody pins, right, if you, if a, if a teammate, uh, yeah, if, if a wrestler pins somebody else, the team gets six points. So again, you could see a wrestler tech fall, you know, a kid could win 15 to nothing. And you're like, that's a huge win. It's a very big win. And they might come off a little bit frustrated with themselves because they're like, ah, I should have pinned the guy because I would have gotten the team one more bonus point. All right. So this is how points work, right? Just a regular win is three points. A major decision is four points. Tech fall is five points. A pin is six points. And if any time um, a, a team doesn't have a weight class filled, uh, and there's a forfeit. So let's say that a team doesn't have a 106 pounder because there's just nobody at the school that small enough who's wrestling. A forfeit's going to be six points to the other team. All right. The other way that a team can um, get an advantage in points is if there's any sort of unsportsmanlike conduct call outside of the outside of the actual matches, it's a one point deduction. So for instance, if a kid curses at a referee. Uh, if a kid is frustrated, takes off his headgear and throws it, you know, when he gets off the mat, that's going to be a one point deduction. Uh, a coach, you know, could be a little bit talking a little too much. All right. Um, a referee could call the technical violation on sportsman like and take a team point away. All right. So that's how a dual meet works as far as points are concerned for team points. And then finally, if there is a tie at the end of all 13 matches. Right. So in high school, there's 13 weight classes. If there's a tie in team points. What happens is the team with the most head-to-head -head wins wins by what's called criteria. So we had this happen to us a few weeks ago. At the end of the whole match, the team score was tied 30 to 30. Our team had won seven matches. Their team had won six matches. So we won more matches. So we won on criteria. All right. So those are some of the basic intro things. Uh, if you're a parent, if you're new to the sport and you just kind of want to learn uh, what, how, you know, how points are, um, how, how, how you get points, what you're looking at as you're watching a match. I hope this is helpful and, uh, yeah, we'll see if this is helpful and if it's helpful, you know, maybe I'll, I'll post a few more little videos with regard to, you know, how we're getting points, um, and how wrestling works. All right. But there's lots of other videos out there that discuss the rules. I hope this was helpful and I will see you all next time.